Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand substitution method example. So we are going to see this example, how to solve this recurrence equation by using substitution method and the concepts related to substitution method. The theoretical concepts related to substitution method has already been explained in our previous videos. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here because the uh, uh, understanding of those concepts is very much important for you to understand what we're going to discuss in this class. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course a playlist our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now let's try to solve this equation so what what we're going to get from this equation is so when the value of uh, uh, when this value is n then the uh, the time taken by the algorithm to get the output is n plus t of n minus 1 when the when the value of n is 1 so if the value of n is greater than 1 then this is the equation that we're going to uh, this is the amount of time taken by the algorithm and if the value of n is equal to 1 then uh, it is it is going to take one unit amount of time so it is going to return the value n so this is what uh, this is what uh, uh, this equation states now how to solve this by using substitution method as we have discussed uh, the equation is uh, t of n is equal to n plus t of n minus 1 now uh, what we what we have to do is in order to get this value of t of n minus 1 we have to substitute n minus 1 in this equation so what is t of n minus 1 t of n minus 1 is by substituting n minus 1 in this equation we are going to get the amount of time taken by uh, n minus 1 uh, uh, when the value of uh, uh, when the value is n minus 1 then the time is the time we are going to get it is n minus 1 plus okay n minus 1 plus t of n minus 2 similarly what is the uh, what is the amount of time taken by it is uh, the value of n minus 2 t of n minus 2 t of n minus 2 is equal to n minus 2 plus t of n minus 2 3 so this is the amount of time taken by uh, uh, t of n minus 2 let's try to solve this uh, uh, by substituting the values in the equation so what we're going to get so what we have to do uh, in order to get this value here in this equation uh, the, what is the value of t of n minus 1 t of n minus 1 this one in the place of t of n minus 1 we are going to substitute this now it is going to be uh, uh, what is that it is n plus this one n minus 1 plus 1 plus t of n minus 2 what is the value of t of n minus 2 so here we have to substitute this value and what we are going to get it is n plus n minus 1 plus here this one n minus 2 plus t of n minus so this is what we are going to get now now how this this sequence is uh, representing now where this equation is going to stop so if you substitute in the place of t of n minus 3 so uh, again so we can substitute as many number of values as possible but where this is going to stop where this is going to stop means whenever this value is going to be 1 whenever this value is going to be 1 then we are going to get an output of 1 this is the base condition now uh, so if you rewrite this based upon the sequence that is being generated so how the things are looking so based upon that if you rewrite this what it is going to be is so it is going to extend extend and it is going to stop at a certain value where it is n minus k plus t of uh, n minus k plus 1 so this is where we are going to stop see here how this is looking like n minus 2 plus uh, t of n minus 3 t of n minus 3 so this the, in the same way if you go on to a certain limit where where uh, it is going to stop so where this value is going to be on here at this point of time this value is going to become one so it this value will become one so here so what i'm trying to make you understand is if this value becomes one then t of one at t of one the value that is going that is the end condition this is where the algorithm is going to stop 
so you have to get that so at t of 1 it is going to generate 1 assume that if this value is equal to 1 n minus k plus 1 is going to 1 so how how we obtain this uh, uh, this sequence is it is from the way in which the equation is behaving so from that we, we have obtained this now so how to get this value of uh, this value is so n minus k minus 1 is equal to 1 now what it is going to be is n minus k is equal to 2 so n minus k is equal to 2 so here what we are going to do is substitute the value of n minus k is equal to 2 in this equation here it is going to be so i am again rewriting this equation n plus n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus 2 plus uh, 2 plus so on plus so this we are going to eliminate because this will get extended try to get that we are going to substitute t of n minus 3 in this place we are going to we have to substitute n minus 3 plus t of n minus 4 so in that way here we are going to end n minus in the place of n minus k we have to substitute 2 plus t of n minus k so if you extend this in in the place of uh, t of n minus k minus 1 see here n minus k minus 1 if you expand this 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 is what we're going to get in this place we are going to put 2 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1 so t of 1 is equal to 1 try to get that how so how i solved it i expanded this minus uh, i have expanded n minus k minus 1 and it becomes in the place of n minus k i have put uh, 2 2 minus 1 is 1 whenever this value is 1 t of 1 is 1 so we got the final outcome as 1 now if you see this equation how it is looking like 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 1 plus n it is sum of n natural numbers and what is the equation to find the sum of n natural numbers what is the equation to find the sum of n natural numbers it is n into n minus 1 by 2 if you expand this uh, the higher order term is going to be n square the higher order term is going to be n square so the efficiency of the algorithm is the efficiency of this algorithm uh, recurrence algorithm is n square okay so the what is the efficiency it is n square so this is how we can uh, get the efficiency of the recurrence algorithms by using substitution method hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching